Hi guys, Eddie here with Naruto for Blender and today I want to show you how to create shape like this with box cutter and hard ups. We will need both for this one, so uh, that was suggested by one of the viewers. Uh, I think his name is Endless Brutality, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna show you how to create something like this and uh, let's go. So I'm gonna grab a cylinder and fairly dense one, okay, so 100 verts on it. And let's let's make it, you know shallower and grab a weighted normals here right what we're gonna do is actually cut a circle in it and let's change the view to object and let's cut it in something like, like this will do we need to get the same amount of uh, more or less the same amount of verts on on the on this circle right let's sharpen this because reasons now what we could do technically right um we could inset this or just drop a loop inside, right? The only problem is that uh, there's some of the angons that is going to be difficult. So what we're going to do is going to do the next easiest thing to do, which is um, cut another circle in the middle, but with knife. So switch to knife and cut. Now we got a loop in the middle, okay? Now this loop is going to be helpful for inserting um, inserting the shapes that we're about to insert. So let's grab a cube and let's make it smaller and some like that let's grab this reference photo right so a bit smaller and move it up here let's see it needs to fit but uh, cannot be too big right so some like that okay and we're going to drop a dice on it before before that we're going to apply scale so let's drop a dice on it dice is an amazing tool for um, slicing an object with any topologies i mean in this case i could just run loops but um, i just want to show you dice and let's actually go to hard ups the form tool so click this one and we're going to switch the um I'm gonna switch the angle to to something like this. Let's zoom it in actually and see how we're looking. Also, I forgot to turn the cast uh, screencast keys again. I think it's probably ideally um, aligned. I mean, I think it's perfect, so it should be okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to um, well, we're going to mark it sharp. So we got the uh, smoothing going on and also let's uh, actually add add some beveled edges in here so in fact what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna remove these two right and i'm gonna add beveled edges instead here so something like this so it's nice and round okay perfect so we're gonna apply the deform and the radius okay around um, with hard ups around the cursor and add some um, add some cuts to it. I mean not cuts the uh, add some more segments. That's what I want to say. And let's cut it in. And now we got uh, you know a mess, but the mess is caused by bevel simply. So. Let's make this bevel smaller and then increase it a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Let's make it shallower. And let's recall the cutter. And bring it up a bit so it doesn't go through. In fact, what we could do is actually make it a little bit more, less tall. So grab this one and uh, B for box and GZ, move it down, oh, come on. There we go, that's what I want. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, well, I could cut a hole in it, but the problem is that if I cut a hole in one, it's gonna array in all of them. So, the, the way you apply this is a little bit different. Um, the best way to apply it would be through the Smart Apply. Which will apply all the modifiers now what we can do we have a choice right um 
we can either drill holes directly in this mesh so for instance you know so we could draw, draw holes directly in here like this and actually what this would do it would uh, cut through the cutter right so if i'm gonna recall this one i can actually move it right and position it wherever i want perfectly switch the pivot point to uh, cursor go to edit my mode select everything shift d and simply rotate it to um let's say we need four of them right so one here and then two more right so shift r and shift r and they're perfectly in the middle right and to be honest um i should be fine now because the rest i can um literally um do it manually so um let's actually apply this so sharpen and then i'm going to uh, well remove this one because we don't need it so just delete that and let's recall the cutters for a second okay because what i want is actually the circle in the middle i want to drop it a little bit lower so gz and drop it in here and do a union okay so um but before we do that let's actually make it uh, shorter so it doesn't um it doesn't actually because what i want is create a union on the other side but i don't want this cutter to go through to the top okay so select so this one and this one and control plus yeah and then no difference um select this one oh, come on control plus and then select just this one and sharpen right so control sharpen should fix the problem all right so now we're good so once we've done that what i want to do now is actually um make this cutter cut a smaller so um let's select all of them and switch to individual origins and let's scale them on the shift c so to scale on every single axis except c and let's bring them up and let's uh cut it in all right how how this uh, cut looked oh it's a little bit narrower but that's okay so it was cut in the middle and then cut one more time through right so um he was cut in the middle so we need to make them a bit smaller so make them a bit smaller like this right it was a bit taller which means a bit deeper and there was one more uh one more cut in the middle so shift d to copy this and then scale it again on shift c right and then extrude it like this and cut it again difference right you can actually sink it in so something like this and if you want you can uh you know apply this and if you want to make it taller you simply need to uh, grab the middle and deselect this one and simply grow it i mean scale it up and this one I think should be a little bit lower, so something like this. And Bob's uncle. We could actually copy this to the other places, I think. I don't know if this is symmetrical, but we could try. Uh, so it copied here. Now we need to copy to the uh, to the sides, yeah. So to copy to the sides, what we're gonna do is uh, go to Align Tool uh, with Hard Ops and. Let's see if we can do this. Uh, Alt X, whoops. Alt X and Shift to View. And copy this way and this way. And this should copy to all sides. One more time. Copy to the other side. There we go. Now it's sorted. And now all we need to take care of is the bottom. I don't, I don't remember how the bottom looked. All right, so we just need to drill the holes, right? So, and grab this, uh, these cutters, the small ones. Where are they? That's the one. So bring it down. And... Let's select all these. Cheesy. Cut 
cut it in and uh, I'm gonna call it a day well that's it guys that's how you cut a shape like this with box cutter and hard ups hope you enjoyed it guys give us a like and sub if you did and as usual there are links to hard ups and box cutter bundle on master z on 1001 store on gumroad so if you're interested in buying it you can go ahead and buy it through the link you're gonna help the channel as well doesn't cost you anything so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the vid catch you in the next one